Hi everybody, welcome to City Walk. We're excited to be here with you again. Today, we are talking about favorite places. Places to be. And so we thought we'd do our video in front of our favorite place. Mm -hmm. Our fireplace. Yes. It's warm, mm -hmm. it's inviting, it's relaxing, it's comfortable. So we're gonna do it here today, so welcome. Yeah, thanks for joining us. I, I would say, this isn't my favorite place the oh. entire year. Not the entire year. Oh, I thought you meant in the house. No, no, it, I, it definitely is one of my favorite places oh. in the house, but especially like when the wa weather starts to get yeah. just a little cooler, then. That's true. Like We like to be on our deck and yeah. it's not when it's nice out. Right, when it's nice out. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. so, but yes. This time of the year? This is one of our favorite places in our entire home that God's blessed us with. So yes. we're, we do like this spot. Um, we're gonna talk about favorite places, uh, places you like to go, things you like to do. So I uh, I saw this one guy that we've watched a few of his YouTube videos and stuff like that. And uh, he was talking, this goes back a few months ago, and he goes, he goes, people are going on vacation, all our friends are going somewhere, somebody rented a motor home, someone's flying here, someone's doing that. And he goes, I haven't left the house. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, I'm afraid to touch a doorknob. And, uh, and it's kind of funny because everybody we know is traveling and, uh, you know, everybody's at a different place right now as far as your comfort levels of what you're doing. And uh, some of you got a chance to venture out and travel and do some things and that's good. I hope that that's been good for you. A lot of people have been out in nature mm -hmm. more than usual. And, biking, hiking, yeah. walking. Yep. Yeah. So, that's awesome. and some people are at least planning, you know, hey, this is where we are going to go or what we're going to do. And uh, so we just thought we'd talk about favorite places. So, mm -hmm. um, all right, in the United States, favorite place. Mm. It has to be where we love to go, hiking, Arizona. Mm. Mm. Definitely. Arizona. Yes. It's probably my favorite. Probably one, probably one of my favorites too. Yeah. Um, and we've been blessed to be able to go there a few times, so. Yeah, yeah. I, we uh, like it out there. I'd say that's, you know, <laughs> maybe what I, uh, it probably, I don't know, it might not be much longer the way things go sometimes, but with having the health to be able to hike, mm -hmm. it makes it amazing mm -hmm. there because there are so many uh, beautiful, adventurous hikes to do mm -hmm. out in the greater Phoenix. But I do Sedona. love the beach. I know, something to be about being something by the water. Something about the water that I love. Something about being by the water. So Even if it's just a lake. Yeah, I agree. Like being on a lake and on a boat too. It's pretty special. Any I, kind of boat. No, I, I agree. So that's true. Like Phoenix, Scottsdale, Sedona, probably one of our favorite places to be and go. Um, but Oak Island in the Oak Carolinas, Island. yeah, pretty quiet, chill yeah. water, awesome. We've been. But anywhere, even just in Ohio. I'm oh like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's awesome too. I don't know. I just like to go places. I agree. All right, if, how about? How about here in our area? Like, if you had, where would you want to go? Like, right around here. I don't know. Hmm. Like being on a lake somewhere that's quiet. Okay. On a boat. Maybe. Right, like just chilling or hiking in the Cog Valley National Park. Mm. Maybe. That's true. Yeah, I, I'd say around here, anywhere around the water. We live close to Portage Lakes. So we're not far from there, so. Mm -hmm. um, being around the lakes is cool, is awesome. It's Lake Erie is awesome. There's so many things to do up there. And we live in Ohio and half the time we don't even get up there and it's really not that far. Yeah. So when we have gone there, it's mm -hmm. been awesome. That's true. Different places. So Sweet. just getting out, get out in nature mm -hmm. and yeah. Yeah. Towpath, like being out on the biking, mm -hmm. to bike the towpath and out and about. So yeah. hey, if we were to ask you today and uh, you were to think about it, as we ask those questions to each other, mm -hmm. what are some of the things that went through your head today? Where, where is, where are some of your favorite places that you like to go? And uh, you know, I know a lot of people. Some people are watching this. Well, I've never left Ohio. I've never mm -hmm. left uh, Michigan. I've never left Pennsylvania. I've never left Chicago Falls. Yeah, some people <laughs> don't leave those areas, and then others, you know, um, you know, we know some people that man, they traveled the world, yeah. literally. So. Um, you know, I don't know, but when that question is posed, where, where are some of the places you like to go? What comes to your mind? Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I pray, you know, even some people have uh, things on their bucket list 
man, I'd like to go there before, you know, mm -hmm. I get a chance. I hope I get a chance. So if there's something on your bucket list, a place you want to go, I hope you get a chance to do that, you know. Yeah, Lori, why don't you read a, a verse from Psalms that we were thinking about. There's a song that we sing at church that goes with this verse. And go ahead and read that for us. So it is Psalms 84, and that is verse 10. For a day in your courts is better than a thousand. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of wickedness. Hmm. Yeah, the song that uh, sometimes we'll do at church is called Better Is One Day. And it's taken right out of that scripture, right out of that verse. But there's one day in your courts than thousands elsewhere. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I just want to encourage you today. Um, maybe uh, maybe you attend church all the time, and uh, I pray that you continue to. Maybe you used to, and you just haven't gone for a long time. Or maybe even because of, uh, you know, COVID, you decided that it's best, best for you uh, from a standpoint of your health, maybe you ha have some health reasons that you need to be more precautious about. But uh, I encourage you, if uh, if you're not at great risk and you haven't been back to church uh, at uh, your choosing, we'd love for you to come back to um, come visit us at City Church. Um, mm -hmm. That's where we uh, actively serve and are greatly involved in. If you're involved in your own local church or uh, are close to one, we encourage you to go back to that church and be a part of the fellowship um, mm -hmm. together in believers. I know that's how God intended it to be. And again, I'm not saying that to convict anybody. Uh, that's between you and the Lord. And I know there are circumstances that are different for everybody. But I do ask you, pray about that. And uh, encourage you to maybe, if it's something for you to consider, uh, come out to church sometime soon. Be a part of the fellowship. It's special. And uh, you know, that's one of the things we wanted to say. And then also, you know, just a reminder, you know, I can think of our favorite place. And we could think of... Uh, Phoenix, Arizona, we could think of um, being on the coast of somewhere beautiful. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, those are the things that we know. Those are the things that we've seen, and they're amazing. Some of the things that God's created here. But everything that we can touch and see, you know, like, you probably can't see it, but this concrete pad <laughs> that was poured for our fireplace because um, I wanted it to match and, you know, my father-in-law and Lori and I painstakingly resurfaced this, and it was just a pretty awful job, ugly and messy. Before. Yes. But now it's beautiful. Oh, now it's good, but it was, yeah. it was a pain for us to do. But um, thanks, Dad. <laughs> but right here, this part, um, this concrete is split. It cracks. Everything that we can touch, every place that we can go here on Earth, uh, it's all going to fade away someday. And that's not to be depressing or sad. It's just to be a reminder. You know, when I look at this crack, I'm, I'm reminded that even though this is brick, it's temporary. Mm -hmm. Life's temporary. So I hope that uh, um, you have your ticket to heaven. And uh, it's not by any works that we do. It's not by how good we are. Um, it's simply by uh, asking the Lord Jesus to come into your heart. Believing in Him. Knowing that He died for your sins. And then he loves you. And accepting him as your Savior. And uh, if you haven't done that before, we encourage you. Even as we close this video, even if you're not sure, just uh, just take a moment and just pray. And say, Lord Jesus, please come into my life. And uh, come into my heart. I believe in you. I know that you died for my sins and you rose from the grave. Forgive me of my sins and create in me a new life. And... Uh, he will do that instantly. That mm. is your ticket to heaven. It's your faith that saves us and makes us whole. So, Which is our ultimate goal and the best place to visit. And uh, stay. So, and stay. <laughs> Not visit. <laughs> and stay. Yes. Uh, Forever and ever. Amen. That's so, our ultimate goal. I, You know, if that's in your mind today, take a moment and uh, secure your destination. If you have any questions about that, Please message us at City Church. We'll be happy to talk to you further about that. So, yeah. all right. God bless you. Walk with the King. Hope you get to go to a destination around here of your choice. And uh, obviously, pray that your final destination is in heaven. God bless you. Have a good week. Bye.